Hi guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the interactive messages for the Amazon Connect chatbot. When I say interactive message, right, it is nothing but the, the list, the carousels, the uh, suggestion buttons uh, and all those things, right? Uh, so first of all, uh, there is an article given by Amazon, right, uh, AWS, Amazon how to deploy the interactive message so there are certain steps right first is you need a lambda second you need a lex and then there are a complexity i have another video where i have listed out how to ease this complexity uh, by removing all the complex things that they have done like slots and all those things we will have created another video on that uh, you can see the uh, uh, video link of that video in the comment section or oh, no, no, not the comment description section. Okay, so first of all first the thing is uh, over here What we are trying is to do the replication of what they have given in this article. Okay now the problem with this is They have given something called we have to deploy our serverless application. Okay, the problem is this Example they have given right the lambda is outdated, right? When I say outdated, what it means is so okay. So let me perform the thing they are saying. So I was saying that uh, what do you mean by outdated is when I try to deploy this application, right? So first of all, uh, it's uh, not up to date. Uh, first is let me example show you example. The link they have given over here is 404. Okay, so they have moved the code. So I will show you where it is. If you see, I have gone to one uh, uh, parent directory up or parent, and if you see inside of SAM templates, right, uh, they have that code over here. Now, what I will do is I will just click and deploy. Okay, so it's supposed to work, right? But the problem is this is based on the Node.js version 12, and I think AWS have moved to minimum version as 14. So what will happen is it when you try to deploy you will get the error like this one okay so how to deploy this lambda now right that is a blocker so what i have done is based on the code they have given over here okay so if you see the codes are there uh, if i go over here the app js is there util is there constant is there so js is there but again this is not up to date code so if you deploy this one you will still get the error are uh, related to index not handler not found because of they have upgraded the uh, lambda minimum functionality right handler so the functional or the handler line which is now supported is something like this rather than what they have in the code so if i show open open over here this line will not work right with the latest node.js version okay so what we will do is first uh, we will download this AWS interactive message zip. I have put the uh, in the description section the link for this zip file, okay, which is supporting the version number 18, okay. Uh, so you don't have to do anything. Just download this file. File is downloaded. I will go to my uh, where is my download folder. I will go to my download folder. I will go back over here, not here, over here, and I will paste, replace the destination file. I was just testing, so it was there. And what I will do is I will go to functions. Okay. I will create a function with any name. Okay. So let's say rich message AWS connect. Okay. So this will be creating on the version number 18. Okay. So once it is created, so it will create a dummy uh, function uh, which have some basic code like printout or something. So what we will do is we will upload our uh, the downloaded zip file or the lambda file that from here that we did uh, this one. Okay. So this link is already there in the description section. So don't worry about that. So see if you see over here it has done. So what I will do click upload from zip click upload. Now uh, it will I will select that zip file and click save So now what it will do it will upload that file or the code that I have Okay, and this is nothing but as it is what we have in the github just that I have updated few things to make it work with our uh, 
version number 18 of node.js so let me just click i don't have any error apart from the json it is expecting error in lambda okay, okay so that is quite okay uh, so now the next step they have given in the blog over here is to download a bot which is interactive message bot okay so you go to the lex uh, classical version v1 click import and it will import okay so i have already done that to save time so if you see over here that bot is already over here and once you go to that uh, intent interactive message intent okay uh, what i will do is i will uh, initialize and select my bot okay so this was the bot i have to click okay for the permission click save and click build okay so for testing what i will do i will open the aws uh, sorry connect Okay. Meanwhile, it is going uh, uh, taking time to build. Okay, so it has built already. So if I click help, you will see some kind of a uh, JSON value comes over here. It means that uh, in the Lex uh, console, you can see it is as uh, what is a JSON. Now what we will do is we will go to our uh, AWS Connect, and from here uh, we will point to this bot what is the bot name we have interactive message bot okay so what i will do is i will go to my flow my flow was main menu ivr oh no i have already created a menu right okay main menu ivr uh, so again the video about this one is already given given uh not the main menu sorry <laughs> okay um, you can do that right i can select the interactive bot at least it will give me something right save click save click save click publish click publish okay meanwhile it is doing that let me start my server aws code uh, html okay so what i will do is node load html so it has started on the port number what i will do is localhost 3000 and slash test so what it will give me are uh, this thing so if you want to know about all this uh, i already created a video on this and you can see the video and its detail in the description section Okay, so once I click over here, I get this thing, something like that, and no, okay. Uh, wait, I think I have to go back. Why well, I say no, because uh, right now my configuration is pointing to other chatbot or other, uh, uh, what you say contact flow see over here so what i will do is i will point it to my menu select next select save okay so end chat and click again now it should point to the one i have so it should say something like that and if i type help see over here now we can see the uh what do you say the list options over here so yeah this is how uh this blog using this blog and using the lambda which is not working in aws but i have given the code over here in this zip file and just have to just upload and then downloading that interactive message just enabling the lambda uh, it will now give you uh, whatever the options that you have okay uh, so yeah in the next video we are going to discuss uh, about how to easily do this lambda function uh, with the custom solution that i have given hopefully you like the video thanks and have a nice day